All right, as usual, I try to video blog all the unusual vehicles that come into my shop that I work on. This looks a little different, looks a little spaceshipy, a little, um, shall we say, graffitied, maybe a little industrial art. This is a 1997 Go4 Interceptor. It's better known as a meter maid or a parking ticket person. It's a one-seater, you can see the one seat there. It's made in Canada, a steering wheel, and it's automatic with a gas pedal and a brake pedal there. And uh, this one has a cover on the back. I think maybe they all have covers on the back. There's a little storage area in there. But it's basically a 1997 Mazda powertrain in the back here, and funky, funky suspension. This is the e-brake, which is actually a series of levers and rods. You can see this whole assembly. Um, then it has the car, front brakes, uh, motorcycle shocks that are adjustable, kind of an added on catalytic converter and muffler. Kind of a crazy setup, aluminum fuel tank. Uh, this vehicle, as you can tell, has had some uh, industrial damage or urban damage, you might say. It's pretty graffitied and it didn't run worth a hoot and it was very difficult to figure out why uh, it wasn't running. I figured it out, but it took a while. And um, the reason being, let me show you, I can show you, it's had some electrical damage. Um, so two injectors, number one and three, I believe, uh, had no power, so it was only running on two cylinders when it was running, and then the fuel pump was intermittent. So it really was a terrible, terrible runner. Um, and it took me a while to figure that out. I was like, why is it missing? I just assumed that it was spark. It's taken a while to figure it out, but I jumped. The two yellow wires here are power supplies for those two injectors that didn't have power. And the other wires down here are powering the fuel pump manually. So um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hook it up. We got it on a battery charger. I'm gonna hook up the you can hear it buzzing. Fuel pump's working. Let's see if we got pressure. Yes, we do have pressure. Let's see if she runs. We got some dash lights. Ooh! Listen to that baby purr. Just like that. That was really good. Sounds nice, no knocks, no noises, running on all four. Customer's gonna be very happy. I have to figure out how to, let me turn this off so you can hear me. And I gotta unplug this, get rid of the buzz. Let's put that right there. Uh, I gotta figure out how to hook up a relay or bypass all the bad wiring. A lot of people are intimidated by bad wiring and actually it is a bit of a headache, but it's fixable. It just takes a little time and effort. Anyhow, this Go4 Interceptor meter made vehicle uh, is ready for the road? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a lot better than it was. At least it runs now. So um, the customer will be very happy. So thanks for watching and enjoying another unique vehicle. I try to post a video every day. Thanks for watching.